wanted to go through how I set up my dual streaming PC setup. I'm going to go through the uh, wiring, the Windows, the Elgato, OBS setup, how they all work together. Uh, if you are having some issues with CPU on uh, Windows 10 or e maybe even Windows uh, 8 or 7, it, it might be the same. Uh, I'll be going through what I did for uh, my Windows 10, uh, lowering some of that CPU usage on the streaming PC. And at the end, possibly just going over some issues that I, I had and maybe uh, some fixes that might help you along the way. Now, I thought about getting my camera and like showing you all the wires in real time and where I connected it, but then I remembered it's a mess. And uh, that would be just, it wouldn't work. It'd be terrible. So we're going to go with the little graph I, I drew here. So this is my main PC, this little box, uh, and this box representing my streaming PC. This box over here has my graphics card. Uh, I connected HDMI cable to the graphics card, and I connected to the Elgato HD 60 Pro that I have inside, on in connected to the motherboard on the in. Uh, I don't have any connected anything connected to the out on the Elgato because they don't need it. Now, I have the camera there hooked up to the streaming PC. I don't need it on my main, it's fine. I have a interface, the Focusrite 2i4 for my um, microphone. And, well, the, the microphone is connected XLR. That's pretty simple, explanatory. Uh, the Focusrite is connected via USB to the streaming PC. And now, one of the issues here was I wanted to uh, can uh, also use it for my main PC. So I just used an RCA to a uh, 3.5 millimeter jack. Uh, I hooked it up uh, RCA on the Focusrite and then just hooked up the 3.5 to the mic uh, microphone jack on the main PC. And I believe that's pretty much it on the wiring. So on my main PC, right click the desktop, display settings. So right now this is, uh, you can hit identify and then you'll see which monitors are which. This one's going to be my gaming monitor. This one is my side monitor. And this one right now is the HDMI, though it is not detecting it, so or it's disconnected. If that happens to you, just go down there, hit uh, extend. That way it's easier to see, at least for me anyways. You identify it's still the same. So I want to duplicate three and two together. So that way the HDMI is sending the uh, the image of the gaming to the stream PC. So go back to there, duplicate desktop two and three, keep those changes, and we're set. So what you're looking at right now is my streaming PC. I have Windows 10 running on this. I also installed Elgato's software on here, uh, the game capture and sound capture. I also installed it on my main PC mainly because I use the same uh, the sound capture on that I don't use it on the streaming PC so I use you know whatever software it needs for that on the stream PC and I use the sound capture to send over what I need oh, over here and let's go to OBS welcome to my OBS I like to stream at 720p 60 frames per second and I'll let you guys see the uh, preview. So the pre-stream, I usually have this thing going, has three, uh, I guess, images. And then uh, when I am streaming, I just go to this and it has everything I want. So it has the Elgato in the back, it has the camera, and a few things that I'm still sign setting up, like the stream labs and like uh, how many people are watching and all that. Let's see if I turn those on someday. Yeah. Now in the camera, because this is a scene here, and this is this is that one. In the scene, I have three items, and hello, also now you can see me. I have the Akoa there, I have the layout, and I have the camera, which is the C920. There is a delay, and I'll explain that in a bit. Next up is the Elgato. So. Uh, if you know how or if you don't know how, basically just go to uh, video capture device. I right clicked. Say you wanted to just what, name it whatever you want and then you could like 
pick the Elgato. You should be able to see it because it's just, yeah. And that's what you're seeing there. Remove. I already got it there. So double click the one that I do have there. As you can see, it's the same thing. Go to configure video and I put for input devices as other. You can choose PC. I just chose the other. I don't know. And it gave me an option for HDMI a while back and now it's grayed out. So not sure what's up with that. Maybe it's just like a software related issue, but whatever. It was on expanded, but I noticed it was kind of grayish. So I just went to standard and went a little darker. I like the colors better, just preferred. I set it to HD 720 with 60 frames. I unchecked these because I figured why the hell do I need those? So fuck it. And uh, I didn't mess with any of the pictures and stuff like that. Not yet. I, f I feel like default's fine. Unless there's a game that I need to do stuff with. I'll do that. But yeah. And you got your audio. But yeah. And uh, I set this to custom. I set it to 720p just to make sure everything's going good. 60 frames. Uh, any. I put, I put this to 709 and full. That way I know I'm getting all the colors that I want. And I believe I also changed this from capture audio only to the output uh, desktop audio wave out something like that and I believe that's it for that let's go to settings now this nothing this is your stream setup uh, so I'm using the x264 I also put the uh, rescale output to 720 which I probably shouldn't but I have it there anyways tell me if I should or shouldn't have it already because I'm not downscaling and you'll see that in the video in a bit so I have the bitrate to 3000 I have a very fast on the CPU because my CPU isn't all that great you know so but if I had a better computer but you know I'm working with what I got and it's working because yeah and profile domain uh, recording I have set that up because it's I, I don't stream and record at the same time so just random things I have on here that I was trying out and it just wasn't working out audio I kind of set most of them to uh, 320 I'd say just you know 320 on the first one is all I need because that I only use one track here audio I use I changed everything to uh, 48k uh, change that to mono desktop audio would be the headset because sometimes I want to listen just pop on the headset and not have to worry about where those sounds coming from I switch my mic that I'm using right now to my uh, main PC just to you know record this so it's usually on the streaming PC and you would see the AT2020 on here but for right now it's not connected video is uh, 1280 you know 720p so that's what I mean about this one here the rescale output it really shouldn't be on I think and for the downscale f filters I put it just in the middle and I think going higher would just put too much stress on CPU uh, for mine anyways uh, 60 frames per second I put it on high 709 put this one to full and I believe that's it for this now for the issue that I was having with Elgato here uh, there is a sound delay on the yeah well sound and so everything else is just it's going great it's going uh, real time except for the sound which is uh, a big delay on that so the, on the Elgato video I'd have to delay it so I go to filters I went to video I added a video delay which is right here and I I went on the website and they said try uh, 650 so that's what I'm doing 650 on the delay for the Elgato video and then since I have to do that I have to also change the camera which is here same thing with that video delay 650 and then I have to go to the mixer up here I'll click on that little uh, gear and on the mic because I'm speaking and it's you know real time so I have to change that to uh, 650 as well and hopefully that should all sync out pretty well. Back to the main PC. I have Elgato installed on here, but I'm I mostly just mess with the uh, sound capture here, and I mainly just have it on uh, PC gaming or advanced if I want to do more speakers. But usually I don't, so I mainly just have it on PC gaming. 
I hear pretty much my gaming, uh, music, everything goes to my headset, and then I tell it to just go to Elgato 4. So that's what's sending it over to the stream PC. Now, if, uh, if I want to talk to my friends in chat and I want to make sure that I can hear them, plus it's sending it over to Elgato in, in Discord, I have to go to settings, voice, uh, you know, put my mic, whatever, whichever one I'm using. Usually it's the uh, microphone over here, but for right now, of course, I'm using this one because I'm just using it. And then I had to set up this one to speakers, Elgato Sound Capture, not the um, Elgato 4. It has to be the speakers one. That way, you can send it to my headset and to the um, Elgato to send over to the stream CP, uh, PC. And then it'll work that way. And it's basically the same thing with Skype. You just have to make sure your output device is speakers, Elgato Sound Capture. And yeah. So, if you've gotten this far into the video, uh, you might be having issues with your computer or just using too much CPU. And uh, let's go through that. So this is a streaming PC again. Uh, some of the things that I did for uh, for lowering down the CPU usage was I looked for view view, view advanced system settings. Hit that. This little window pops up. You can go to advanced and under performance here. Just click that settings. And I just hit uh, just for best performance. Basically, it just turns everything off. And uh, hit apply and OK. And now it, everything's really like bare bones. So you can't even see the box move. You just see like, like little things like that. That's good right there. Uh, let's say uh, next would be go to settings. Personalize just for the. I'm going to start it there. Colors. Let's turn off turn off transparency. That'll help the CPU a bit. That way it's not time to use that. You pick color or not. It really doesn't matter since it's just a streaming machine. Kind of going through and trying to see what I remember. You kind of go just go through all these and see if you want or don't want any of this. Uh, Apps. Apps is one for sure. I turned a lot of these off. Uh, you could always go in here and uninstall things. Like I don't use 3D Builder, so I can just uninstall that. Money. Not going to use that. I think I will have to change it. Allow offensive stores. Warm me before installing. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll ask it to warm me. That way it doesn't automatically install it. Okay, so I want to turn that off. Record game clips and stuff. Open game bar. No thanks. No thanks. Broadcasting. Nope. Game mode. I don't want to use game mode. my main computer so here, here we're in um, privacy let apps uh, turn off turn off turn off location turn it off camera let apps use camera and hardware I really only want Skype to use it and OBS Uh, microphone. Really, I only want Skype to be able to use it. Notifications. I'll turn that off. Speech. This will. I think this will also turn off Cortana. So I'll take that off. Uh, let apps access name, pictures, account information. No, thank you. Contacts, nope. Calendar, nope. Call history, nope. 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 Other devices. Let's 
So we're in background apps. I uh, just turn it all off. We don't need any apps on there. Let apps access uh, agnostic information. No, thank you. I think that's it. Yeah, just uh, go through some of these and turn on and off a lot of the apps that are going on in the background. Mainly it would be um, system, per, um, person, some apps there. Uh, a lot in privacy, really. Uh, also, services here. You can get to the task manager by hitting control, shift, and escape. Hold them down at the same time. You get this, go to services, go to open services down here, and it'll bring up a little window of all the services are, are running that are on manual and that are disabled. Make that huge. So right now I have all these running. And let's organize by uh, startup type. And I'm just going to show you what I have disabled here. Feel free to pause the video to check them out. I'm gonna lower it down. Last one here is a sensor service, which I don't I don't have anything for that. So there's the last one we showed, and then it just keeps on going. I I'd save it a bunch. And it's not affecting my uh OBS, so that's all I really want. Feel free to pause if you'd like to copy these. And then mostly uh, other ones are just manual and a few automatics. So that I, I do believe this helped a lot, especially the services. Uh, going back to the task manager, uh, startups if you have a lot of um, things that are just starting up and you don't like when you turn around the PC you don't want to have to wait through all those things that are starting up so like product register for the camera I disabled that uh, defender notifications disabled that everything else I'm pretty good voice attack um, some camera software I actually don't need this so wait, if you wanted to you just click on that disable the camera software at least for me or whatever if you didn't want the Java updates you could disable that but uh, I'm just gonna keep that on I think it's important and uh, if you have any miscellaneous things that you're just being annoyed by you can turn them off here and it'll help your computer out and now to end it off with some of the issues I was having uh, the main one for me was having trying to have the one mic for both PCs and I started off with the Focusrite connected to the main PC because I, you know, I wanted a good, clear sound for people who were, you know, I was gaming with. And uh, so it was. This was connected USB to the main, and then, um, of course, this was connected to that, and then the RCA connected to the uh, mic 3.5 jack here. But because I, I, I really think it's because of the hardware was you know pretty old and uh, maybe some of the power wasn't going in right or or whatever but it was just causing static and whenever I play uh, a game really just even like players unknown but player unknown battlegrounds uh, it would like bump up the the static and I found that if I just switched it if I could just um, have this one connected to the stream PC and then did this RCA, it, it wasn't causing it much static, I think because of the better hardware. And uh, I, what I also did was just, because uh, there was still a little bit of static, you can't, can't really help that. I just went to the recording. Uh, let's see. I think it was this one. And I, put, I went to levels. And I just set it to about 65, so so that there wouldn't be so much static. I could bump it up because it would it'd be just a little bit of static, and if I do push to talk, it wouldn't be so bad for the people I'm playing with. 
but I think 65 is just good for what what my ac outcome came to. Uh, another issue was sometimes in sound cl uh, sound capture, uh, this wouldn't properly hear anything, even though I have everything set up right. Uh, sometimes I just hit off and back, and that would fix it. Other times you just have to exit it out completely, go down to the uh, bottom right corner and just right click it and exit that little icon or even just go to uh, task manager it's opening up my other monitor I'll shift that there. there we go you could go there and just take it off you know take it off that and if and that's just fix it if not then just restart the <laughs> restart the PC and uh, it usually fix it for me sometimes so and I believe that's it I I just can't think of any other issues I was having I probably just explained it as I was uh, describing the wiring and all the, all the OBS setup and all that other stuff I, everyone has a different setup I imagine so if you're having an issue uh, leave a comment down below let me know what's up in uh, pretty good detail that way I can know everything and I don't have to ask you as well but uh, it'll probably end up that being that way so uh, feel free to comment below. I'll try and help you. I usually get back pretty quick. Thanks for watching. Take care, man. Have a good day.